Hi everyone, and welcome to Huawei Datacom MWC Online. Today, I'm at Huawei's Air Engine Lossless Roaming Exhibition Booth, and joining me is Huawei's Senior Product Marketing Manager of Campus Networks, Daisy Wang. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Sam. Hi, everyone. So, what products and solutions would you like to share with everyone today? Well, so today I'm going to introduce Huawei 5G powered Wi Fi 6. And also, we're going to do a demo to show how Huawei Wi Fi 6 ensures user experience in the extremely complex roaming scenario. Wow. I mean, 5G, Wi Fi 6. Everyone knows that Huawei is a leader in the 5G industry, so I'm really looking forward to seeing Huawei's competitiveness in Wi-Fi 6. Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, um, our Wi-Fi 6 is using the same technology as 5G in antenna, radio frequency, and the algorithm. Okay. So in today's demo, actually, there are two parts. The first part is the raising track, and where there are two cars and with the, the camera on top of them, and there are two wireless networks deployed on yeah. the track and the APs are going to connect to the Wi-Fi network respectively. Okay. And on the back of me is the a screen which shows the track and the, the wireless network. Yeah. Well, you can see uh, the red car is actually connect, connected to Huawei Wi-Fi 6, and the corresponding AP is an AP1 and AP2, yeah. while the blue car is connected to industry Wi-Fi 6, the corresponding AP is AP3 and AP4. So uh, the configuration of the two Wi-Fi networks are exactly the same, just to make a comparison, you know. So we are going to see in this exactly the same setup, how the Wi-Fi is going to work on these two cars. OK. OK. And I mean, because at work, I'm often on the move, having to go to the next uh, shooting. So I'm often having to do a video conference. But sometimes I find maybe because the signal's poor or I'm mm -hmm. roaming, uh, it causes the video to cut out. So I'm guessing similarly, these small cars, as they're always on the move and frequently roaming, I'm guessing that's going to have a big impact on the video. Yeah, let's have a look at what happens here. OK. So here on the track, you will find, find that two cars are running at a speed of um, two meters per second. Yeah. And this is the very area where the roaming handover happens. OK. Um, and thanks to the Huawei, you know, black technologies, smart antenna and the smart radio uh, application acceleration, yeah. as well as the lossless roaming, which can ensure a better performance. So for the uh, smart antenna, you will see that which makes it possible for the signals track the movement mm. of the car. In the meantime, it can avoid the interference. So the oh. car, the red car always have a better Wi-Fi experience. Okay. And the combined with the um, Huawei application acceleration, you know, that it can make sure that the video, the crucial services are always yeah. prioritized in the forwarding. Okay. And in the meantime, for the lossless roaming, so the industry roaming could have a packet loss while for Huawei. Uh, it can, the technology can prevent the car from, the, from any packet loss. Yeah. Okay, so in the middle of the screen, it shows some uh, key parameters and yeah. you can see this is the real-time connected APs. And as a result of Huawei Black Technologies, you will find that for the roaming time, the Huawei Wi-Fi 6 is always less than 10 milliseconds. Okay, wow. While for the industry Wi-Fi 6, it's 20 milliseconds or even more. Yeah. And there will also be some packet loss for mm. the industry Wi-Fi 6. So in this case, you know, it will impact the video quality. Yeah. It can cause like um, video instability or frame freezing stuff. Wow, I mean, you just mentioned the smart antenna technology. So could you tell me a bit more about that? Because it sounds really high tech. Sure, let's have a look at the flash. Uh, well, you know that Huawei smart antenna technology is based on our profounded accumulation in 5G antenna technology. Huawei L Engine Wi-Fi 6 AP each have 16 built-in smart antennas, the most in the industry. The smart antenna algorithm and the antenna calibration are key enablers to allow the 16 smart antennas to work simultaneously and fully unleash their beam-forming capabilities. Leveraging our antenna calibration expertise in 4G, 5G base stations and the massive MIMO algorithm, while we further improve the beam-forming effect achieving a two-fold increase in the signal strength in the same location and a 20% greater carriage distance. In addition, 
Huawei also supports the most signal beam direction combination in the industry. Four elements are designed on each smart antenna to control the signal beam direction transmitted by antenna. The more elements, the greater the possible combination of signal beam directions. Huawei Air Engine Wi-Fi 6AP achieve up to 48 elements on a single radio frequency and support 2 to the power of 48 signal beam directions, the highest in the industry. The AP can quickly select optimal signal coverage direction and, and optimal beam through enabling or disabling elements, software control algorithm, and the regions and the locations of stations. This enables signal to follow users and ensures stable signal coverage for the user on the move. This also ensures Wi-Fi 6 access experience in office areas and ensures zero blind spot coverage. Wow, I mean, waves following the people moving, that is smart. So what about this smart radio application acceleration technology? Okay, so let me have introduce uh, the smart radio application acceleration. Okay. Before I start to introduce these technologies, I would like to introduce um, the mechanism of Wi-Fi itself a little bit. You know that for the mechanism of a Wi-Fi is actually based on the random competitions. Okay. So the transmission between the stations and the APs actually are an ordered process. Okay. It means that in station might initiate a request randomly and then if it happened to be vacant then the station is able to occupy the radio resources. Otherwise it's going to cause a collision okay. and then the station will hold back to try again. So when there is a few, uh, when there is a few stations with non-crucial services, it won't be a problem. But if it's a multi-user scenarios with a cru crucial services running on this Wi-Fi network, uh, the, the user experience is going to be awful. Yeah. yeah. Due to the, you know, a lot of a collision and the user experience is going to go crash. Yeah. So um, Huawei Smart Radio Application Acceleration is a multi-layer QoA. So it's like a commander is added to this unordered process. Yeah. So Huawei AP is able to coordinate between the users. Okay. And it can recognize who is the VIP users, who is the normal users, and which are crucial services like um, video, like um, AR, yeah. certain stuff, and which are like non-crucial services like broadening the, the website and certain yeah. stuff. So in this case, it can always reserve the resources for the VIP users and for the crucial services. In this case, to ensure the VIP user experience and the crucial service experience. And the, it can provide a guaranteed latency as low as 10 milliseconds. Wow. While for the industry Wi-Fi 6, you know that latency could be more than 20 yeah. milliseconds and this is on guaranteed latency. So there's no SLA guarantee for the, for the industry Wi-Fi 6, while for the Huawei, we can always ensure the latency, ensure the SLA. Yeah. So this is how a Huawei smart radio application acceleration works. Okay, this is exciting stuff. Uh, could you tell us a bit more? Yeah, sure. So let me introduce our uh, smart radio lossless roaming technologies. Okay. Well, traditionally, you know that roaming actually there are three steps. So when the signal of the station go weak, it will try to scan the strongest signals and then send a roaming request to the specific AP. Yeah. And when it received an ACK from the AP, and it will disconnect from the previous AP first to establish a new, a, a new link with the new AP, right. right? So the whole process could take like 30 to 100 milliseconds. Yeah. Meanwhile, there will be a, sm a small period of disconnection because it will disconnect first and yeah. then to establish a new link. Yeah. So, uh, well, this is fine for the non-crucial services because they cannot sense for the disconnection mm. really, but for the crucial or latency sensitive services like a video, like AR, VR stuff, they're gonna be a service interruption. Right, right. So in this case, you know, it can, it's gonna affect the user experience. So a smart radio lossless roaming technology is actually another technology from 5G. You know that in the roaming process, so before roaming, the station will scan the signals. Yeah. And at meantime, the APs 
can detect the signal from the station as well. Yeah. So for the Huawei wireless systems, it can predict which AP the user or the car is going to oh. roaming to. Okay. And then it can guide it over. Oh. At meantime, you know, in the disconnection period, yeah. all the packets will be cached in the WAC. Right. And after the new link is established, the packet will resend to the user. So Great. in this case, it can prevent the packet loss. And the whole process can be accelerated to 10 milliseconds wow. instead of 30 to yeah. 100 milliseconds. Yeah. So in this case, you know, even the latency sensitive services like um, videos, like um, VR, AR, yeah. they won't feel the roaming process. They won't feel the packet loss. Wow. Huawei Wi-Fi 6 products and solutions really are fast and stable. So I think I can remember three main points. So our smart antenna technology ensures stable coverage. Mm -hmm. uh, the smart radio application acceleration ensures a stable application experience. Yeah. And the last one would be smart radio lossless roaming ensures stable roaming. Yeah, that's right. Great. Thank you so much for sharing today, Daisy. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, everyone. If you'd like to find out more information, please visit our official website or you can visit one of the local Huawei sales offices. Thank you.